this is a uh, what you have laid out here is an unsuccessful experiment that turned out to be successful but with a lot of alterations uh, I was thinking about getting a monitoring system you know I'm thinking about doing the van deal uh, you know so a monitoring system say in the front that I can maneuver from the back or uh, just a this also works as a somewhat of a security uh, thing. This is a baby monitor. Uh, it's called Snug. Purchased it on Amazon, like I usually purchase most things. And uh, basically what I was trying to do was to get this baby monitor to actually act as a security camera. Now it's possible. It took a lot more work than I thought, but let me tell you what I did and how I made it work. Uh, this is a very cool little camera. Uh, I can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. Let me go. I can simply change the, uh, you look at the camera. I'm going to try to, I'm pushing it down. I'm going to turn it up. See if you, if you see it, the, the lens is going up. Now I'll bring it down. You can control it from uh, your uh, smartphone. It, it has its own application called Snug. Uh, and uh, it, it basically controls this camera. And like I said, it's a baby monitor. So it has audio and video functions, etc. But I was just trying to get it to function the way I wanted it to function. Now, the thing is that I could get this thing to function, which means I can control it from my smartphone. But what I couldn't do was control it from my smartphone without it being hooked up to a hub. Uh, this you see here, this is actually not a hub. Uh, it's, it's an old school. It's a, it's a uh, Ethernet to Wi-Fi converter. So in effect, what's happening here is this is connecting to this. This is a wireless hotspot. I just got an update on it. This is an ATT wireless hotspot. Right now, I have got my cell phone on its hotspot and it's sharing the same networking with the snug uh, that allowed me to configure it and I configure it like it's connected to a hub uh, and uh, the, the one thing I did get and I did not understand was once I've got it configured I thought I could control it fine now I'm going to take it off of the network because like I said this is a wireless adapter connecting to my hotspot. Uh, I'm going to pop it loose but and I'm going to attempt to move it again. Now if you notice it no longer moves. So this is Wi-Fi but it's Wi-Fi one way from your phone to the snug but it does require connections to a network which made me 75 percent to sending this thing back when some of my old network knowledge popped up and I said, well, if I get a Wi-Fi, a Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter, put it on my, uh, my hotspot, which is basically a hub. I think four, five different things can be hooked on your hotspot at once. So it's a wireless hub. So if I can connect it to a wireless hub, which I'm doing by connecting it to this, to this Ethernet, to Wi-Fi adapter here. Now they make these now about the size of my thumb. So, uh, I'm, but I wasn't going to buy it on spec when I found this. I said, great, I can get my proof of concepts here and then when I do buy it, I know I'm not wasting my money and it will do what I want it to do. So that's why I'm using this, this uh, ancient piece of equipment here, comparably ancient. So now I've connected it back to the hub by connecting it to the uh, through the Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter, which is hooked in here. Now, if you notice, it is now moving. So this baby monitor, this Wi-Fi that requires you be connected to a hub. So that was gonna make it a non-starter for me and I was about to send it back. But with this little adapter, and I will be getting a little adapter to this big, huge thing. Now I can basically use this as a security monitoring device of, of, of a sort. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all I've got, and I will talk to you later.